This is going to be a quick overclocking guide. Well, not really guide, just an overclocking result video for the GeForce GTS 450 Cyclone from MSI. So I have dialed in my final overclock on the GPU. So I've got 942 megahertz on the core, 2.22 gigahertz on the RAM, and the shader with all Fermi architectures is locked to the core at this time. I have maxed out the voltage, but you can see my temperatures are still well within reason at about 60 degrees with 64% uh, fan speed, which isn't too loud really, considering that the GPU is under full load. So I'm just going to do some performance benchmarks, and then at the end of this video you'll see what GPU artifacting looks like in a very extreme example of uh, me pushing it a little bit too far. Here's my default score with the GTS 450 Cyclone from MSI. Now bear in mind, this is going to be a little bit higher than what we'd get with a stock clocked GTS 450 because the Cyclone OC, which I didn't mention before, it is an OC card, is stock overclocked. So uh, there you go, there's our baseline. And uh, I'll be back with the overclocked performance in a moment. So you can see here with my overclocking profile, which I actually did have to adjust slightly since I did that last shot. The RAM was not, it was stable in Furmark, but it was not quite stable in 3D Mark Vantage. I was getting some artifacts, so my final overclock ended up being 942 megahertz on the core, 2.2 gigahertz on the RAM. So you can see with that overclock, we've managed to get a pretty sizable increase in our Vantage score. And uh, I guess that pretty much concludes my overclocking results for the MSI GeForce GTS 450 Cyclone. Well this is probably the funkiest example of artifacting I've ever seen. I'm working on my overclocking guide. I guess I'll just uh, throw this video at the end of the overclocking guide, but uh, I turned up the memory clock to 2.3 gigahertz and uh, even turning it back down didn't fix it, but I just wanted to show you guys this is a fairly extreme example of what uh, artifacting can look like. You can vaguely see the ring from Furmark spinning sometimes in the background, but other than that, the screen is basically gibberish. Now, odds are excellent. I haven't damaged the card. You can see I've set it back to what I know is a safe setting. So I've still got the core cranked up and I've still got the uh, memory clock at 2.25 gigahertz. Actually, it was stable, a little higher than that, so we can try one more setting. Anyway, this is just part of the process, and uh, sometimes you get some pretty spectacular fireworks displays when you're overclocking a graphics card.